bored that I was sitting on the swing set at the little playground of the resort, and that's when I saw the same girl again. She was a little ways away from me, down past the playground, close to the tree line, and she was just standing there, staring at me. Being a teenage guy, my hormones controlled my body, and so I got off the swing and began walking over to her. What's up guys, so um, before anyone tries to bully me about my hair looking like this, I'm not greasy or sweaty, I just took a shower and I have a really busy week so I'm trying to knock out a video in between taking a shower and uh, working on some more homework. So, oh, here go. so I actually wanted to tell this story uh, a while ago, back whenever I made my video about the, you know, the anxiety monster and and all of that, it was during my big episode of panic attacks. And I forget when it happened because that entire weekend or, you know, three or four days was basically just a big blur. But during the day, one of those days, I was laying in my bed and as I was waking up, I had this sensation where it felt like electricity went throughout my body. I know this sounds kind of like, you know, new age and, you know, spiritual. I'm not all about all of that. I mean, I find some of that interesting, but this was a real sensation. Like, uh, I felt electricity go through uh, throughout my body. It felt like I was zapped and I felt this feeling coming up through my head that felt like my head was about to explode. And it, it really scared me. And I woke up and I was sort of seeing like spiders on the wall and everything, which I already know what causes that. I w whenever you wake up too fast, your body is still basically in a, in a dream, or your mind is still basically in a dream state. So like sometimes if you wake up really fast, you'll hear voices. Make a list, make a longer and list. And store, you are ungrateful. So you're sort of experiencing a, a mild version of schizophrenia. <laughs> I don't recommend it because it can be kind of freaky. It's like hearing a TV that's on. And then I told my counselor about it she said that um that is common uh, with panic attacks to have sensations like that uh whenever you're sleeping it was it was well it, sort of a nocturnal panic attack except i was sleeping during the day but it just it really freaked me out and i mean i i've had issues with sleep paralysis a lot especially because i have sleep apnea um and i almost think that what kind of caused it is i got some of the air on my my cpap was kind of seeping through and it kind of set off that train reaction but it was like half scary and half like cool as so i uh i'm not necessarily mad that it happened but it, i just thought it was a little cool story and if anybody else has you know an experience like that or if you do have an experience like that and you're freaked out you don't know what's going on that's probably what it is your brain is really weird in between the times between you know sleep and wakefulness i mean the term nightmare actually comes from ha during the night having a mare sitting on your chest uh, so sleep paralysis and you know hypnagogic experiences that's what it's called a hypnagogic experience uh, they're they've been well recorded throughout history so this isn't something new so but kind of a short video but you know I just thought it'd be kind of interesting and I'm able to knock that out right now so but as I always say uh, if you'd like my music buy it if wait if you like my video, subscribe. If you like my music, buy it. And if you hate me, tell everybody. Out.